Yo, if you guys want the most safe and legit NBA 2K20 stacked accounts, you guys got to go check out SportsTMB.com and use your boy Sam at checkout. Link down below in the description. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Yo, hurry, like the video in the next 10 seconds so $1,200 will appear in your bank account and you're going to be living rich. Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sam. Now, today we have a new VC glitch for Xbox and the PS4. So, you guys want to do this before this stops working, before this gets patched, and you won't be able to do this no more. So, you guys could get tons of VC. So, before we continue this new VC glitch, you guys, shout out to AJC, man. This video is going crazy right now. Man, you guys got to go check him out. First link down in the description. I wouldn't miss out if I were you. Yo, what's up, AJC here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a brand new VC glitch where you can be making 100,000, 200,000, even 500,000 VC a day, all right? This is not clickbait, this is complete legit, and I'm gonna be showing you how to do that in today's video, okay? So before we get into it, first off, I mean the world, if you could just like this video, it only takes two seconds. And secondly, if you do wanna shout out in the next video, or if you do is comment down below on this one, guys, let's just make it VC, all right? Comment that down below, and you can be in the running to win a shout out in the next video. So the step number one, guys, try not to miss any of these steps because it's very very important step number one guys is go on your main build okay now whether your main build is maxed out whether it's only 90 overall whatever it is you want to use a build that is already that you've kind of been using for a while because this way guys you're going to be having a better contract than just making a new my player which gives you only 500 vc a game okay so if you're like me you've kind of my career grinded you're 95 overall 99 you're going to have a contract of around 1000 per game okay but what you're going to want to do is guys you're going to want to sim to the end of the season okay whether that's you don't make the playoffs or whether you make the playoffs and then you head over to the finals and try to win it there okay so my uh my player guys i did play for the lakers so obviously we made the playoffs just from simulation so what you're going to want to do is guys you're going to want to head over to the season where you are free agent okay where when you're a free agent there guys so if you are in a team and you got like two seasons left with it try to get through that first one go to the second one because you want to be a free agent coming into the next season okay so this one i did sign one year to the lakers so i'm coming into the, like free agency into the next season um but like i said guys it would be more easier if you do play for a crap team because then you don't have to go through the playoffs okay if you don't know you can't sit many playoff games you actually have to play it um so that's why it's a bit more longer in that sense okay so what you're going to want to do is guys just sim to the end of the season that is step number one when it comes to your main build okay so you're going to go through all this i did win the finals so it's going to take you through this whole like you know parade whatever um but like i said guys you don't have to get into the playoffs or anything like that okay but you're gonna head over here where it's gonna give you the sum up of the end of the season you know who won awards and things like that and you're just gonna want to skip through all of this as fast as you can okay um <clears throat> so once you get past this guys you're just gonna get all this finals mvp blah 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 um and like i said guys if you are playing you know if you have a two-year contract try to get into the season or finish the season where your contract ends okay that is very important because what you're gonna see is gonna come up guys after this loading screen uh finishes you're gonna see it come up where it says welcome to free agency and you sign a team okay so you need to make sure you have that um, because that is very very important okay you don't want you don't want to re-sign to the team you're already with um, and I'm gonna be showing you the steps on what you're gonna have to do once you get there okay so that's probably the biggest step and the first step you guys need to understand is use a build that already you use and secondly guys make sure you sim to the end of the season where you're a free agent okay so it says here enter free agency or re-sign with team what you're gonna do is guys press the PS button you're actually gonna quit out the game okay quit out the game you're gonna head over to settings okay head over to settings now you're gonna head over to application save data management which is right here and then it's gonna ask do you want to quit you just say okay okay so after that guys is gonna say save data in system storage after that guys you're just gonna click upload to online storage or copy to USB storage whichever one it doesn't really matter you can choose whichever I choose online and then what you're gonna do is guys after you click online click NBA 2k20 and click the first three files and upload the first three files okay so one of them should be called user data save descriptions and my career and a number um, Obviously, your number is going to be different. My one was, um, was uh, my career too, I think. So it doesn't really matter what number you were, um, as long as one of them is a my career file, user data file, and then the descriptions file. Okay, so that's most important out of those three. So if you are going to be doing the USB method, it's the same thing, but make sure you have a USB plugged in, guys. People forget that, uh, but you can do the online if you have online. Um, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so once that happens, guys, you're going to want to load back into 2K20. Okay. <clears throat> 
So once you load back here, you're gonna head over to your same build um, or you know the same my player, which we basically left off um, in free agency. Okay, now this is where it gets interesting. So it says here, welcome to the NBA season, and they're gonna pick a team, you know, coming into free agency. Make sure you click enter free agency, guys. Make sure you click enter free agency. You do not want to resign. It's gonna say, you know, 2021 open now free agency. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go on Google, guys, type in NBA today, and you're gonna pick a team that was actually playing on that day. I know NBA. NBA seasons canceled but pick a team that was supposed to play so we know Clippers were actually supposed to play today um, but obviously you guys the whole you know Rona thing happened so you're gonna pick a team that did play on that day guys so I had Clippers so I picked Clippers and signed with them okay make sure you max out the contract which is 1000 VC um, and you want to just make sure that's maxed out if you can um, get that okay so like I said guys your 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 teams are gonna be different okay what you need to do is go and Google type in NBA today see what teams pop up that were supposed to play on the day you're doing this glitch and then sign to those teams okay so do not pick LA Clippers if they're not playing that day okay the only reason why I pick LA Clippers is because for me when I was doing this glitch it was actually LA Clippers were supposed to play that day that's why this glitch works so make sure you choose the right team in that sense so after that guys you're gonna have over my player nation you're gonna see you're gonna have a game ready to go okay so at that point, you're like, all right, we're, we're good to go. So you're going to get into that game really, really quick, um, but you don't actually have to play the game, okay? You don't need to play it or anything like that. You can literally chill out, go make breakfast, go make lunch, because this is somewhat of an AFK where you can leave the keyboard at this point or, you know, leave your controller at this point. Also, this does work for Xbox. I will leave a link in the description to an Xbox VC glitch. So guys, make sure you go check it out if you are on Xbox as well. Um, it's roughly the same, but has different steps. So once you're here, guys, you're going to wait until you've played six minutes, okay? So as you see here guys I press options you see I have six minutes played okay um, six minutes once you have six minutes plays you're gonna want to foul out okay foul out as quick as you can but make sure you hit six minutes okay a lot of people have asked me why six minutes why six minutes? guys that's the only time you're gonna be able to get your VC and everything like that if you play less minutes than that 2k thinks you're glitching so then yeah basically that all happens okay so make sure six minutes guys do not play any less or else you will not get any VC okay so once the game ends you're gonna see here um, you know last game performance is gonna come up or even if you're not a 95 overall something else will come up guys I dropped my overall super bad because I was trying to you know finish off the season um, but you're gonna see guys we get 2,000 VC because of the two times that my player nation gives you 2,000 just like that in six minutes we literally did nothing and we made six minutes what are you gonna do is you're gonna close application at that point okay close application then you're gonna head over back to settings after you head back to settings guys you're gonna head over to application save data management okay application save data management again but this time you're gonna head over to save data on online storage or save data in UNB storage okay depending on which one you chose okay so if you chose online click online so we clicked online we go to download a system storage you're gonna click NBA 2k20 and click the first three files and you are gonna download it that it says at the bottom right okay so this is very important step guys make sure you do not miss this uh, make sure you click the first three files which is first off the the best thing about it and secondly guys you want to make sure Sure you click the right one whether you chose uh, online um, or USB method okay so once that ends guys you're gonna let this load blah 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 and you're gonna head over back into 2k20 okay the second time it's loading um, it's gonna take a bit longer okay so once you are at this point guys you're gonna see um, we're gonna head over to my career right now but you're gonna see guys when we head over to my career it's not in the same place that it was before okay so you're gonna see when we head over here it still says season 3 game 0 which basically means that we're pretty much done okay we are pretty much done and we have restarted back into the NBA season guys where it's basically free agency again so what you're gonna do is guys click enter free agency again and you are gonna pick another team that also played on that day okay make sure you try to vary the teams and then once you run out of teams guys go back to the start okay it helps you out um, and you know it helps out the like kind of like the glitch okay it kind of helps out the glitch so make sure you don't keep picking the same team because sometimes it won't work so another team that was also playing on that day was was also the Denver Nuggets I was also trying to find other teams but the Denver Nuggets actually offered me the highest which was still 1,000 so we decided to sign with them for a thousand VC okay so they're gonna notice once we get back into here um, you're gonna see counter offer you're just gonna accept it if you want or if you want something else like maybe more minutes you want teammate grade bonus whatever you want guys um, just add that to the list as well okay so I actually had like a contract save so we kind of just skipped through that if you didn't see it in the first time we also had this like uh, contract ready to go so I have to go through this uh, process again but 
what is basically the important thing is guys you just basically have to keep loading back into it where you end up in free agency okay so you don't need to do the save uh you know like save it back on you already have it saved in your data and all you have to do is load it back in and you're just going to keep ending up at the end of the season okay so once we're here guys you're going to see we're going to head over to my player nation games and if you look at here right we have another my player nation game so you can do this over and over and over and over again guys like i said make sure you just play for six minutes and then foul out but 2000 vc every single time okay i know the other way was you know make a new player blah blah blah. but guys that you're only winning 1000 vc because you know signing you know making a new build and then getting signed you only get signed for 500 vc okay so that's why i suggest you use a build that you're already working on because this will help you get more vc very very fast okay now the only takeaways i have guys that i really do suggest you uh you know kind of pick up on is just basically that guys make sure you um first just all you have to do is just load back in every single time um you don't need to do anything else fancy just once the vc kind of loads back in at the game recap just reload it back in quit on nba 2k20 load it back in and then you're going to notice you're back at the start of the end of the season where you sign to another team okay secondly make sure you check the teams that are going to be playing on that day so do not pick the same teams i'm playing you know type in on uh google nba today come up with it'll come up with like the teams that we're supposed to play uh, but obviously it's canceled because of the the virus but um after that guys pick one of those teams and then just keep you know shuffling through it shuffling through it every single day um and you should be able to you know get vc super fast so like i say guys like it's all really up to you how much vc you want to make there is really no like uh kind of limit to this you can keep going every single time and a bit of an afk one where you can do it on the side while also doing something else so guys i just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video i try to keep it short and sweet um but yeah i hope this did help you guys and get some vc maybe spend it on a new my player but besides that, i just want to say thank you again but we'll get to the shout outs because i'm not even waiting for